today I'm with the French instructor Greg. He's going to show to you three really cool moves that's pretty good for beginners and advanced bartenders. So if you enjoy it, let us know in the comments what you think. Alright, so for this way of icing up the shaker, we're gonna work mainly on the style. We just grab the speed cup and the tin. On my left, I'm gonna have my speed cup. I'm just gonna switch, holding it by my thumb and my middle finger, I'm gonna switch for a reverse grip. The other side, I'm gonna do a twist on a gunslinger. We will explain it to you later. Just put it in the speed cup. Grab your ice scoop, ice up the tin, go all around. Okay, so I'm down there, I'm gonna come on the outside and I'm gonna come here, drop my speed cup. Then I go back to the original position with my tin. From the right, I'm gonna throw the speed cup. This way, it's gonna go directly into the tin. Then I do a circle with both hands at the same time. As you can see, simply about how you make it, how you do it. And then once you're there, you just throw the ice scoop from the right to the left and put it back. If this move is a little bit too complicated, you can start with simply putting the mini tin inside your ice scoop and then just trying to throw the mini tin to have one flip and then to catch it in the other hand. Once you succeed in doing this, you can try with a shaker and just catch it in. Right guys, so the second move is gonna be a pour. For this pour, I'm gonna use one shaker and one bottle. And the pour is gonna look like that. For this pour, I'm gonna show you how it goes with a plastic bottle because it's way safer and easier to practice with a plastic bottle and I'm gonna show it to you with a speed cup because it works the same way with speed cup and a normal tin. So I'm gonna start with simply the shaker or the speed cup in my left hand all the way around there so at the bottom okay I'm gonna go from my right to my left I'm gonna open the shaker on the other side and then I'm gonna let go of the bottle and catch it with those three fingers, just like that, okay? I'm gonna hold the bottle this way and then I'm gonna come back to there, okay? So it's basically gonna be like, like this with the bottle. Be careful not to do, not to really spin the bottle, okay? You just let go and then catch. It doesn't rotate because if you do it with a bottle, a full bottle and you rotate, you're gonna spill all over the place. So remember, just like this, then you bring it back to here, catch it regular with the right hand, and then I'm gonna do two circles in different direction, in the opposite direction. I'm gonna do two circles, and I'm gonna come back here to pour. So it's gonna look like that. One, come back, and pour. So to train this move, of course, the best is to start with a plastic bottle, start with an empty plastic bottle, train the move once you get it and you can do it properly. You can add a little bit of water in your plastic bottle and a pour spout. Once you really feel it and it's going all right, you can then start with any kind of bottle. You can also do it with different level of liquid, different shape of bottle works the same way. All right guys, so next move is gonna be a twist on the gunslinger that I'm doing with the shaker. Gunslinger that you might also call pistol used to be made with the bottle, this move. This move is an advanced move, it's for advanced bartenders and basically that move that was invented in the early 2000s by Wayne Collins can be done in different ways such as this one and also with the shaker classic or finishing in a different group. That's a very nice move that's very um, aesthetic and impressive when you do it in front of somebody at the bar. And here is how to do it. So I'm gonna put my hand like that. Okay, so two, the two first fingers, my middle fingers and my index like that, thumb on the side. Then these two are gonna push 
on the shaker. I'm gonna place the shaker here, okay? Simply grab it like that. And then I'm gonna push with my pinky and my ring finger. I'm gonna push on the shaker and it's gonna naturally come around my middle finger and index. And then it's gonna go around the thumb on the back of the hand and come back here, okay? Like this. Then, if you want to use it in the icing up, you can simply start, as I showed you before, with the two elements and opening on one side the speed cut, doing a gunslinger on the other side with the tin, and then go icing up, ice cream, and everything, everything. Bonus move is that, actually, that move can be done with a bottle, okay, basically the same way, the same grip, you start like that, instead a pistol is just a regular grip here by the top of the bottle, if you want to do it gunslinger, the twist version, you come here, okay, closer to the body of the bottle and then you're gonna go horizontally and do it like that, you can just grab it normal, you can end up on a tennis grip, you can do it as you're turning, you can do it all the way around here and bonus pour you can also use it to end up on a nice pour thank you guys for staying until the end and big merci to you man i'm going to leave all the social media in the description uh, thank you guys again for watching we'll see you next tuesday Whoa!